My name's Dr. Luke Gregory and I'm a veterinarian at the Bonnerong Wildlife Hospital. So often we get echidnas that come into the hospital here and they're quite a unique species in terms of how you handle them, how you anaesthetize them and how you take radiographs of them. So the first thing to consider uh, looking after echidnas in the hospital is that you want to make sure that you've got a nice sturdy storage container to keep them in. So ideally you want one that's got at least four snap locks. You can get other ones that have got a snap lock on each end, but some of these, even though they feel quite sturdy, um, echidnas are quite good at sort of getting between the lid and the box and, and peeling those open. When we're housing echidnas in the clinic, we like to keep their boxes on the floor just because they could rock the box back and forward and topple off. And obviously the box needs to have some holes for ventilation and some towels uh, as bedding. So when I go to pick up an echidna, there's lots of different ways that you can do it, but I tend to um, keep my hands nice and flat and then I'll wriggle them in from underneath its abdomen, yeah, between the front and the back legs. And doing that, I can avoid the spines. And then when we go to anaesthetize an echidna, it's a two person job. So one person will be holding both the front hands and, and keeping them abducted. Kidneys, when you're trying to put an anesthetic mask on them, they'll um, try to swipe it away. So yeah, the person holding the kidney needs to be holding those front hands nice and tightly. And then the person holding the mask then threads the, the mask onto the beak. Yeah, the other thing to be aware of um, when they're stressed and in this position, they quite often can urinate or, or defecate and they can be quite projectile when they do that. We can make a mask for an echidna out of an old 60 mil syringe. So you can cut off the hub so that it fits onto the, the anesthetic tubes. And then you can make a makeshift mask um, on the other end with some vet wrap. And when we're taking x-rays of echidnas, there's four main views that we're looking to take. So they are a whole body dorsoventral view and a whole body lateral view, as well as uh, focused views of the skull and beak. So both a DV of that and a lateral as well. And when we're taking our lateral shots of the whole body, we can use a, a piece of foam to keep the legs separated. So that will keep the whole body on the same plane. And when we're taking a lateral shot of the skull, we can use a cotton tip to place between the two beaks and that will keep them separated. And the reason why we take that focused skull x-ray is that beak injuries and fractures are really common in echidnas, particularly after things like uh, road accidents. And they're easily missed if you only take a full body x-ray.